Next, we're going to take a look at a couple of reductions of the benzene ring itself. And uh, the first one to look at is just complete reduction. It's just simple catalytic hydrogenation, sort of simple anyways. Uh, so it turns out like what you did with alkenes, where you just use like H2 palladium on carbon or something like that and got an alkane, that is not going to be sufficient here with benzene. Uh, benzene here in aromatic compounds in general, uh, much more stable with the, the resonance stabilization the uh, due to aromaticity than a simple alkene and stuff like that. Uh, and so we're going to need an elevated pressure to make this work. And uh, you might see that as 100 ATMs, or especially in this country, you might see that in pounds per square inch, in this case, 1500 PSI instead. Uh, but that will reduce the ring completely, all pi electrons gone to cyclohexane. Now next on the list is the birch reduction, and it's not a complete reduction of benzene here, but uh, it'll reduce one out of the three sets of pi electrons in benzene, and we'll end up with a non-aromatic product here. And so uh, sodium, methanol, and ammonia uh, are reagents here of choice. Uh, and the big thing here is we're going to end up with pi electrons opposite each other. They're not conjugated, they are isolated in this case, uh, so no de uh, delocalization or anything in this case in the product. Uh, and there's a couple other things to worry about here, so that's just, you know, the first, you're basic, but uh, if I have an electron withdrawing group like the nitro group, you'll find that where reduction takes place and reduction takes place on that carbon and the one opposite it, you'll find that with a withdrawing group, reduction takes place right immediately next to the withdrawing group. Uh, and the reason why is if you take a look at the intermediate, the intermediate is both an anion and a radical. So in where reduction takes place, that's where the anion is going to be. So if I've got a withdrawing group, it will stabilize that anionic intermediate. Uh, and that's kind of why it would happen there. So uh, converse to that, if I have an electron donating group like the hydroxyl group here, now I definitely don't want that donating group next to where the anion intermediate is going to be. Uh, otherwise, it would actually destabilize it. So if you have an electron donating group, reduction is going to take place never next to that donating group. That's kind of the deal. So if you've got a withdrawing group, reduction, reduction takes place next to it. If you've got a donating group, uh, reduction is going to take place anywhere else but not next to it.